what's happening, people? Welcome to a whole new video. <laughs> This is actually the back of my house. I've got my own parking space here. Got all kinds of cars up in here. And the car we're gonna be taking a look at and taking up a quick drive is this, this Mercedes GLS 350D 4Matic. Uh, did I say AMG? That's because it is. That car belongs to this guy over here. This is, come over here, Easy. How you doing, man? You cool? I'm cool, yeah. Yeah, welcome to uh, Mikasa, man. Mikasa. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's have a look at this amazing Mercedes uh, GLS 350D uh, D formatic is what I'm saying. So let's start here in the, in the rear uh, part of this car. So this car is actually the second generation of the, um, of the 350 uh, series. So actually before it was a 350 GLS, it used to be called the 350 GL. The S obviously because of S class. Because you know, it's, it's more upmarket, you know, that kind of stuff. So this second generation uh, from 2017 has uh, slightly different things on it. For example, the rear bumper is, uh, is different. <laughs> And uh, as you guys may have noticed, um, this is a bit of a trick on the eye because uh, these are actually fake exhaust tips. I mean, why did Mercedes do this, man? Stop messing around. Just like leave it. Just keep it clean. So you've got two twin exhaust tips here either side, but they're both fake. The actual exhaust tips are actually right underneath in there and they're like downward firing. So I don't know why car makers do this. I've even seen electric cars with, um, with fake exhaust. That makes no sense. The rear lights on the 2017 model are actual LED which was not the case in the previous model to this one. Formatic because it's four wheel drive. This is an SUV off-roader. That's what it's made for. But obviously, as you guys know, in London, um, there's not really much off-roading. But then again, this is kind of like off-roading a little bit, isn't it? Look, there's a lot of gravel. So technically we are off-roading right now. So let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. You can see that this big Mercedes emblem sign for here is ginormous. So it's a little bit bigger than um, it was in the previous model. And also it's like a twin blade design setup on here. So you've got a camera up here in the front as well. And the front diffuser is also different. This kind of looks like uh, something out of Transformers. Like uh, the whole light design system is very cool. Quite angry looking, quite aggressive as well. And uh, all kinds of lenses in here that are also new in this model. And uh, it's very, very cool. Is that fake? That is fake. Yeah, see this all filled in, but it looks cool. It makes the car look more aggressive and all that stuff, but it doesn't actually have a function. This thing is actually a V6 uh, inside this massive bonnet thing right here. So we're gonna open this bonnet and show you guys what is underneath. You don't have to prop up your hood uh, manually because uh, it does it itself. Just open and, and stays up. Unlike lesser cars where you gotta get a stick or maybe put your foot up there and try to hold it up and all that stuff. Not with Mercedes. Here lives a beautiful um, V6 diesel engine with uh, twin turbos in it as well. Uh, 258 uh, horsepower to the, uh, to the wheels. And there's, it's, it's you not know, V6, very respectable power in there. And this car is huge. When I say huge, it's, it's ginormous. People say, why do you need a car as big as this? This thing's ginormous, it's huge. You could literally fit probably a Fiat at Bath between the wheelbases, man. That's how crazy big this thing is. It's, it's ginormous. When all the seats are up though, perfect though. You don't have a lot of uh, space in here. Let me show you guys what I mean. If I open this, boom, 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 boom. You look in here, check it out. This is all the space that you have when all the seats are up. Like you've got seven seats in here. You've got three rows of seats. You can fit like six full adults in there, no problem whatsoever. With the seats up, you have 295 liters of, uh, of boot space. You know, if you have a big family, you know, you do a lot of shopping and stuff. You go to IKEA every now and then, maybe every weekend, I don't know. You've got more than enough space to fit everything. So you put the first row of seats here in the back down, then that jumps to 680 litres of space, which is ginormous again. If you want even more space, because you have a massive family and you do a little shopping and all that stuff, maybe you have like a little donkey that you want to put in the back, I don't know, anything. You can have up to 2,300 litres of space. Let's have a look around the car here. The GoPro has fallen off. <laughs> we haven't even gone anywhere yet and the damn thing has fallen off, man. I mean, Jesus Christ. I bought this off Amazon 
and uh, it's not doing its job very well. Hopefully we don't lose the GoPro. But anyway, Lucas, what do you want to tell me about the wheels of this car? They're just big and round, aren't they? Yeah? And what's up in here? What did your dad do? Scratch it. <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, Lucas' dad may have uh, curbed the wheels a little bit, but I've definitely seen worse. I can always like, buff that out. And... These pristine wheels are, in fact, 21-inch wheels, but I think you can spit these up to 22 or 23-inch wheels, right, Izzy? 23, you can spit. 23, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 23, after probably aftermarket, aftermarket right? Yeah, so, <laughs> so Mercedes don't offer that 23-inch option, but uh, aftermarket, you can get those as well. So that will fill up the wheel arches very, very nice. As you guys can see here, there's quite a little space. Uh, on here but that makes a lot of sense because this is supposed to be an off-road car isn't it so all that space makes sense for all that suspension travel and all, and all that jazz this is an amg because it says it here on the wheel so same size wheels on the back but i definitely think a 23 will look a lot better in a car like this is the key still in there yeah. okay cool let's go inside people let's have a look and oh yeah so this inside Okay, people, so we're now inside the Mercedes 350D Formatic uh, GLS. This thing is huge. There's way more space in here than the rival Audi Q7 and uh, a Range Rover. And lots of space to store your stuff, like here, here, here. I'm pretty sure I missed a few. Yes, and here. The quality in the interior is pretty nice. Nice textures, leathers, and ooh. You also get a seven inch freestanding screen for your infotainment system. If you've got a bit more cash money, you can spec for the eight inch option, which comes with a Wi-Fi hotspot. You also get a spy camera for when you need to spy on someone or for when you don't want to run them over. Or maybe you do. And you get not one, but you get two sunroofs. Two for the press of one for that bright, nice and airy kind of look that your wife is going to like. Um, let's give it a quick start to see what it sounds like. Uh, it is a diesel. I'm warning you right now. So let's see what it sounds like. It sounds, uh, you know, this is not supposed to be a sports car. You know, it sounds good. It's, um... It's, it's quiet. <laughs> yeah, listen to that. Listen. Okay, so we're gonna try sport option to see how different the sound is. So let's do that. So down here, here is the control console where you can actually select the different modes of this car. So you can have individual, sport, uh, comfort, well, adverse weather, snowy weather, and also for rough terrains when you go off-roading and stuff like we're doing in my back garden right now. So if we go here, and I, is this touch screen? It's not touch screen. And then if you go over here, you go into sport mode. Oh yeah, everything changes. Like it says there, obviously sport. Actually, I can't really tell the difference. Woo, so time to take this thing out for a quick spin. Uh, mainly because we're actually hungry. Uh, we're gonna get a pizza. Is that a new right. GLS or the new GLB? GLB. GLB. What Which is a mini for? GLS. It's like the B class. They yeah. make, you know, so they the have too many classes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That was the can. What was that? A was can. That, was that in a GoPro? <laughs> <laughs> no, the can. Oh, well, watch out. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, maybe, my gosh. Maybe it was the GoPro. No, it was a can. No. It's a car. Oh, GT as well. Wow. There you are. So, so many chassis. <laughs> yeah, so many chassis there. So we're going to get some pizzas and stuff. And uh, while we're doing that, we're car spotting because over here we've got a Jaguar F-Type. R. R. Because it's got more R in there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's definitely a V8. Oh, it's got the carbon wheels as well. Ooh. It's definitely a V8, people, because it's got four exhaust tips instead of just two that you get on the V6. And uh, this guy, I don't, I'm not sure about the red wing, though. Uh, what do you guys think about that? The, the red wing? Is that cool? Is that a bit like, eh? I'd have gone with a carbon option, but this is not bad. Look, it's got carbon blades on the wheels. But uh, anyway, let's go get some food, man. We're too hungry to be car spotting right now. 
But uh, yeah, a nice little find here in the car park. Ooh, I can already, I can already smell pizza. Yeah, I know. Compulsory hand yeah. sanitization. Uh, you gotta do the compulsory to keep your hands oh, you have to give as well. sanitized. <laughs> hands suitably sanitized. But what kind of books do you like to read? Non-fiction and comedy. Oh, that, that's a response. <laughs> How old are you again, Lucas? <laughs> Tell the young lady what you want. Um, yeah. With no basil, please. Sorry. No With no no basil or oh, basil. Is it basil or basil? Basil. Is it bas ba basil? It's it's, it's 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 a basil. There you go. Yeah, we can get three pizzas. We're, we're hungry as hell. So. Mozzarella, no, yeah. no basil, yeah. <laughs> One pepperoni, no hot guindilla. No chili. No chili, yeah. Actually, make that two pepperonis. With no chili. Uh, a little no, bit of chili. Complete, yeah. A little bit of chili. Over here, you have the same, but no chili. Yes. Yeah, nice. And Lucas, which one do you have? Uh, margarita. Yeah. You got a margarita. And uh, over here, I got a pepperoni with a bit of chili in there. So, yeah, let's do it. Let's eat. Yeah. It's very, very smooth. Um, yeah. It doesn't feel very, how can I say, very stiff though, even in sport mode. I can't imagine what it's like when it's in comfort mode. So in 2020, a new version of this car has come out, right? So if you get the basic model, that will start from around 69 to 72 K. And if you spec that all the way to the max, get just over hundred K um, you know, of your hard cash money. So in 2020, a new version of this car has come out, right? So if you get the basic model, that will start from around 69 to 72 K. And if you spec that all the way to the max, get just over a hundred K um, you know, of your hard cash money. In 2020, is it still worth buying the 2017 model? I'll say yes, because now, now you can pick these things up for like around, I think, 35 to 40K mark. So think about it. That's a lot of um, car for the money, literally. Look at the size of it. So if you're thinking about buying a new family car, you know, like SUV that you can take off-road as well, like we're doing right now here in my backyard, then you can get yourself the 2017 Mercedes um, AMG 350D Formatic.